Two pieces of artwork from China's Jiangnan shipyard have recently emerged depicting what appears to be a new aircraft carrier design. This could be a glimpse at one concept for a planned future Chinese carrier commonly referred to as the Type 004. The images show a vessel that is distinct from the Chinese carrier Fujian, also known as the Type 003, which Jiangnan is building now. It also has some broad external similarities to the U.S. Navy's Ford class and France's future new generation aircraft carrier. Twitter user Atan Rikenman, an independent China-focused defense analyst who runs the website East Pendulum, posted copies of the artwork, seen below, online earlier today. The appearance of these images also follows the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's first domestically built carrier, the Shandong, making its first voyage out into the Western Pacific proper this week. To get there, the ship sailed through the Bashi Channel south of Taiwan sending a signal to authorities on the island at a time of increased friction with the government on the mainland. When it comes to Jiangnan's apparent new carrier concept, details are limited. From what can be seen, the design clearly has a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, or catabar, configuration, just like Fujian. The plan's two existing carriers, the Type 002 Shandong and Type 001 Liaoning, are both short takeoff but arrested recovery, or stobar types with prominent ski jump typos. Catabar carriers offer significant advantages over stowbar types, including allowing the launch of aircraft at higher gross weights, which translates to larger fuel and ordnance loads. Other more specific features and capabilities are harder to discern. On Twitter, Ed Henri Kenman speculated that Jiangnan's new carrier concept could be nuclear-powered, something that has long been reported to be of interest to the plan. Nuclear propulsion gives ships effectively unlimited range, although they still need to be resupplied for other reasons. Nuclear power also presents benefits when it comes to generating the electricity that modern warships need to adequately power advanced weapons, sensors, mission systems, and more.